Hey guys, I wasn't going to do this video but it's so cool that uh, I can't resist to share. So uh, I got this for Christmas, so Happy New Year. Um, and this thing is pretty incredible. Uh, each of these uh, matrix is about $5 from DX.com and they are so straightforward to use. So basically both of these matrices are uh, hooked up by five pins and the five pins are connected the same five pins here are connected to the same five pins over there so they're basically in parallel the only thing that is not in parallel is the uh, data in and the data out that basically cascade from this one to that one and if you have a third one you can go uh, take the output of this one get put it in the next one and just keep on going on but uh, there's only five connections to the Arduino the first two here is power of course that goes up there to the plus and ground and then the other three here the white one is on pin 10 that's uh, to select the particular uh, matrix which actually both of them are connected to the same one because they are they're both active at the same time. The data is being transferred from one to the other. So it's not like we have to want control this one and then want control that one. They're all being, the data is being cascaded through both matrices. So that's the uh, select. And then the blue one is the data. The data is connected to pin 11. And then uh, the last one is uh, the clock, which is on pin 13. And that's it. And I'll show you the code in a second here. But I didn't hardly have to do anything. I, so let's go to the code. Okay, this is the code. I didn't write a single line of this code. It came from, I believe the guy's name is Mark Ruiz. Let me see. Yeah, thanks Mark for the code. I uh, didn't have to do anything other than change two things. Uh, this used before the number of horizontal displays. I guess he had four matrices. I only have two, so I put change it to two. And uh, I think this used to say Arduino. I want to say something else. And then this used to be 20 millisecond, which was moving way too fast, in my opinion. So that's all I had to change. I had to download the uh, Adafruit GFX, which is all listed. So basically, let's see, we start over here. There's all, all kinds of other libraries, apparently, too. It's like I just pick one that I thought was pretty good. So I downloaded that library, I downloaded this library which brings us over here just download and unzip and unzip and install it as a library to your Arduino and then you have it on here as your oops sorry yeah and you'll have it here on your uh, examples. Let's see where is that guy? He is right there. So there's a couple other library. That's one that I, I mean, a couple other examples. They're all very cool. And that's about, oh yeah, let me show you the, the other thing that I had to look up is I didn't know how to wire it up. So I went here to uh, look up SPI and see how to, uh, how SPI works. And, and the thing that is actually probably the only thing that's really uh, important is I have an UNO and according to this the uh, clock should be uh, hooked up to 10 pin 13 and the uh, master output which is master output from the Arduino slave into the uh, LED matrix is pin 11 so and that leaves the slaves at 10 which is also available on the source right here so we're doing whatever you could still uh, put it on another pin and uh, finally this is the link I'll, I'll put all these links I'll put this link in the uh, these other documentation five dollars amazing uh, thanks for watching guys bye bye